firstborn. He has grown to the equivalent of a nine-year-old human. Physically and mentally, he possesses the highest abilities of the Morthran race. It's the emotional needs of his human side we can't fulfill. I'm aware of that. Look at him. He rarely speaks, and his energy grows lower each day. I've been considering a way whereby he can heal himself. Outside the city, there's an institute called the Kresh. It is where this society has focused its efforts on improving itself. It's the perfect place for him to absorb what he needs from their children while advancing his own people. We'll call him Adam. They say he was the first of their race. No, Martin, that is my final word on the subject. You're stifling him. You're mothering him to death. He's a prodigy. He's a little boy. I wanted to have a childhood. He needs special education. He needs a schedule of classes. He's got to get a head start now, otherwise he'll never achieve his potential. Potential? I hate that word. You're pushing him too hard, Martin, and I won't let you do it. You won't let me? Is that what you said? Stop yelling! Shut up! I'll take him away from you, Martin, I swear to God. Don't you ever threaten me, bitch. Patrick! Patrick! You got my message. I've been trying to contact you all week. I must have tried every computer network in the city. Come on in. You're not going to believe what I'm about to tell you. I'm not crazy. I'm not on drugs. And I only have the occasional scotch. Martin, what is it? One night last week, I had a dream about Patrick. I woke up in a cold sweat. I don't know. I, I went over to the window. And down in the yard, I saw him. I saw my son. I rushed down to him, but it wasn't him. It was another boy. His face. For a moment, he looked so much like Patrick. Since he's been here, I've been trying to get through to him. But I don't know who he is, where he comes from. He won't talk to me. 
Where is he now? He's here. I wasn't about to turn him over to the police. So I called you. I was hoping maybe you'd help me find out who he is, where he belongs. You know, all the feelings of the past came back to me when I saw him. Will you help? Of course I will. Thanks. Come on. All right, dear, direct time for our small game. You remember Billy. You can trust Uncle Billy. Are we ready? Make sure she can see me. Deirdre, come to Uncle Billy. Come on, you can do it. Fifteen seconds. Deirdre, look at me, honey. This is incredible. We call it the imagination chamber. Twenty-five seconds. Hello, Deirdre. Come on. We run these tests periodically from infancy so we can monitor their level of trust. You can trust me. Why? Because we move them through the education process at a highly accelerated pace. If they mistrust, they resist learning. That's right. You're doing great. Uh. That's okay. Don't be afraid. You can make it. Uh. Come on. <laughs> Keep it up. That's it. Good baby. Much better. Under a minute. Yeah. She's improved significantly, Doctor. Miss Golson, this is uh, Suzanne McCullough. I'd like her to meet the boy. Where is he? He's in the recreation area with the other children. I've been working with him for hours. Still no response. Come on. social skills seem non-existent and he makes no attempt at physical activity children over the slides please hi my name is Suzanne do you feel okay can you talk to me? I bet you can tell me your name. Adam. Adam Warner. That's good, Adam. Can you tell me about your parents? How did you get here? Never mind. I'm sure you'll remember later. Are you hungry? He's fine, and he ate a short time ago. The child does not look well. He needs some rest. We have to run some tests first. Do we take them off? Yes. It's okay. It's okay. It's simple test. What no. kind of test? We've made a breakthrough. Come on. My God, that's not possible. A nine-year-old understanding Laplace's equation. Our own students can't even do this. The boy's knowledge of algorithm is above genius levels beyond any known standards. Martin, can I speak to you, please? Privately. In a moment. Now, please. Stay with him. My office. What is it? What's bothering you? What are you doing with all of these children? Suzanne, this is an unconventional school. 
You know what we do here, the public can't even begin to understand. All right, then. Let's just talk about Adam. He's not one of your students. Why are you testing him this way? Because he's exceptional. All children should be tested to see where they fit in. They're our future. Has he seen a doctor? He'll undergo a complete physical tomorrow. No, I get the feeling that you would be just as happy if I didn't find his parents. What matters now is that he's here. Martin, who are these kids? Where are their families? What is this place? I thought you knew. All our students are genetically engineered. I test you, babies. Martin was married to my best friend, Janet. I was godmother to their son, Patrick. He was killed in a car accident when he was nine years old. After that, their marriage broke up. I haven't heard from Janet since. Do you know a place called the Crash? Yeah, it's an experimental school for unusually gifted kids. Martin founded that in memoriam to his son. He's engineering super kids. Oh, they're the most unhappy kids I've ever seen. I didn't hear one of them laugh. Are you going to start a one-woman campaign against the Krish? No, really, I just want to find out about one boy who showed up at the school. So what have you got to go on? I have a set of fingerprints that Martin gave me in a picture. I want you to help me find his parents. We're ready to accelerate the program. He's beginning to adjust to his new environment. Then Adam should be ready to receive his instructions. One facet at a time. He'll have a great deal to accomplish. Our priority is to acquire all information on genetic engineering stored at the crash. It is vital for Adam's survival and for our own. He will begin by winning the trust of the other children, and then, and only then, will he access the Institute's files. Listen, Kincaid, I can get in big trouble. I'll make it worth your while, you know that. The department is awfully touchy about the crash. It's classified right up to the top. Yeah, I figured it might be. You gonna help me or not? Okay. Okay, the usual place. Two hours. Okay. Ted? Mr. Kincaid, that's not a very smart idea. Drop it and get your hands up. Sorry, Mr. Kincaid, but Ted couldn't make the meeting. However, I do have a message for you. You gentlemen are prying into things better left alone. Who are you? Search them. You're interfering in matters of national security. It's best you forget this. You never even heard about it. Who's national security? I'm asking you in a nice way. Understand? Sure, I understand. Make sure he doesn't forget. Turn to you, just as I said I would. Have you come for me? No, not yet. Good, I like it here. Then we must begin our work. What shall I do? It's time to make contact with the other children and bring them home to us. I'll bring them home. I 
wish I could be that bird. Why? Because I could fly way over that fence. I could see everything. I could see cities, forests. I could even see the oceans. Julie, you could be that bird. If you want. All you have to do is imagine. I know. It's, it's just not the same. You don't understand. The ability to be that bird is already in your mind. You just have to use it. I can do it. Right. Give me a break. It's true. I can change things. I'll show you how, if you want. Inside. Everyone, let's go. Adam, Children. can you teach me? I'd like to talk to you about Adam. Have you learned anything more about him? I've never seen anything like it. He's a true prodigy, she said. And you should see him work on the computer. I've been giving this a lot of thought. Adam does have parents somewhere who are worried about him. And I think until we find them, it would be better if we... I've asked him. I've tried everything. I can't get any information. You think some agency's going to do any better? Children should be cared for. They need love. What do you call the years of research that went into their engineering? I call it science, Martin. Adam, you said you'd teach me. Can you teach all of us? All right. It's very simple. First, we have to choose a vision. What kind of vision? Anything we want. We could take a trip through the universe to another galaxy, or to the bottom of the sea. Maybe a trek through green jungles, lions and tigers. Sounds wonderful. Let's go. Let's go out into the universe. And follow me as we travel into our very own world. Look at these kids. They know the definition of fun, but they haven't experienced it. Look, the problems facing this country won't be solved with fun. We need minds capable of correcting 2,000 years of mistakes and perfect bodies to house them. Look, I have no trouble with screening for hereditary diseases and defects. But, but. Personality and cosmetic alteration offends you, right? Come on, Suzanne. It's all the same work. One gene, properly manipulated, can open the door to everything. Exactly. Manipulated. Everybody, hold tight. Hold tight onto the drain. Now close your eyes and move with me into the universe. 
We can locate the genetic markers that determine everything that makes up a human being. We can produce kids that won't be affected by the weakness of the human psyche. We can order a child's appearance and personality like ordering a meal from a menu. Martin, what gives you the right? Look around you. You see one child overweight, glasses, buck teeth. Martin, you know as well as I do, there's no way to predict the long-term effects of this. These children are the results of genetic control. They're perfect. If you wanted something perfect, you should have built a machine, not a child. Concentrate. Believe. Feel it. Imagine as we fly away above the school, through the clouds, beyond the sky, past the moon and out among the stars. Soaring beyond planets of our own galaxy and out into the unknown universe. Adam. Adam. What are you doing? Nothing, Miss Golston. I want you to get Adam Warner to testing room A immediately. Mark. Not now. Wait a minute, what's the matter? I'm not sure. Miss Golston, take Adam Warner to testing room A. I'll meet you there. over Adam's physical reports, his x-rays. You said he was fine. This isn't about sickness. What is it about then? Nothing, nothing. It's not important. You're lying. I want to see for myself. No! You have to leave. Security! What are you hiding, Martin? This is a government-restricted area. Your presence has disturbed my students. Make sure she leaves the premises and don't let her back in. Martin, no! Don't do this, Martin! You're doing very well, Adam. Very well. You look well. The school has been good for you. I have friends here. They want to travel with me. Good. You must do something else for us, Adam. Anything. Anything you ask. Memorize the information in Dr. Daniel's files. All of it. I will. My friends can help me. If you succeed, you can bring your friends home to us. The Eternal is waiting. What are you, Adam? What is it that you see? to know. Who are you?
Dr. Daniels. Dr. Daniels, I am not of your world. You will never understand my powers unless you join with me. Where are you? I'm here. Where? Where? Patrick! I'll take him away from you, Martin. I swear to God. Memorize the information in Dr. Daniel's files. All of it. Adam? How the hell did you get out of quarantine? trouble. It was a government reception party. They took Adam's prints and picture. Yeah, and we were asked to butt out. I got thrown out of the crash. You did? I thought this guy was your friend. It's became irrational. Look, I want to get Adam out of there. So do I. We need to choose another vision. Under the sea, Adam. Close your eyes. Run into the waves. Dive in. We don't need to hold our breath. As we sink beneath the blue, blue sea. And look, a coral reef. Where are we going? To the place of the eternal. What is going on here? How did you get out of quarantine? The rest of you go back to your rooms. Now!
It's no security. I'm gonna look for Adam. Check the files in Daniel's office. It's, it's to the right when you go through the door. Dr. Daniels. Dr. Daniels is dead. What? What happened? I don't know. But Adam knows. Where is he? Maybe he went back under the sea. Adam, do you know what happened to Dr. Daniels? I want you to tell me. Tell me. suffocated. Here it is. Oh, no. This is impossible. Look at the size of the heart and lungs. Alien? I can't reach him. You must reach him. Keep trying. children that I'm bad. Where is Miss Golston, Adam? She wanted to hurt me. Where is she? Over there. <gasps> Am I bad? Am I? Everything is going to be fine. Does he have the genetic research? Yes. He's imprinted the files. Then he's ready to return. With perfect human children. He's an alien. Adam, go sit down over on the stool. Just for a minute. Return, Adam. Concentrate. Remember your mission, Adam. To bring the children home. Show them the way, Adam. Then they'll understand. I will. Let's just get the kids out of here. Does that include him? He's killed three people already. Kincaid, he's a frightened little boy. Whatever he is, I know I can reach him. He's here for a reason, Suzanne. This is a highly restricted government research center. He's here after Daniel's work on genetics. Adam! Adam! We can alter our perceptions. But the man in Daniel's office died of suffocation for no apparent reason. The door is where it should be. Where it should be. It's 
begun. He's leaving the Institute. Arrange for them to be met. Let's split up. Don't go near him alone. Unit. Any idea where it leads? The generators are on the playground. <laughs> Is that the place of the Eternal? Are you sure you want to come with me? It looks wonderful. You can't come back. I wouldn't want to. Over there! Looks like you took them towards the city. Stop here. Trust me. <sighs> Close your eyes. taking you where you think. If you go with him, you won't come back. I like Adam. He's my friend. He takes us places. Fun places. I know. I like Adam, too. 
Adam, tell them. Tell them it's not real. If you come near me, I will take them. What will they do in your world, Adam? They're children. They're not experiments. But I have to bring them home. This is their home. They need to be with their own kind. They weren't happy at the crash. They want to come with me. So your people can use them the, the same way they were using them at the crash, Adam. They need someone to love them. Just like you do. Please. Let her go. Julie, come with me. I'll give you any dream you want. They're only dreams, Julie. You can come too, Adam. Can't he? Of course he can. If you want to. Take them. Come on, let's go. Everyone, let's go. We're going home. Suzanne! You've been very successful, Adam. At least we can begin to work on the development of a hybrid. A Morthran perfectly adapted to the Earth's environment. I wish I could be that bird. Adam. Adam. I like Adam. He's my friend. 